Phosphates are chemical compounds containing phosphorus and oxygen found in many fertilizers, detergents, soaps, and cleaning products. Different phosphate compounds have a variety of different applications. For example, tripolyphosphate, otherwise known as STPP, is used to preserve the flavor and moisture of shrimp, cheese, ham, and sausages. Phosphorus has a natural cycle, and when humans intervene, they add excess phosphorus into areas where it doesn't belong and where it can't be stored properly. The natural cycle of phosphorus consists of soil taking up phosphorus from the phosphate rock. Terrestrial organisms then absorb it from the soil. Animals then eat the vegetation and return the phosphorus back to the earth in their waste, which is then broken down by decomposers. Through the process of weathering, phosphorus is carried to large bodies of water by runoff. The cycle ensures that phosphorus is distributed between short and long-term stores where it can be properly kept without causing an overload. Humans change this balanced cycle most predominantly by mining phosphate rock. The application of fertilizers which use the mined phosphate are carried by runoff into bodies of water and are also leached into soil, adding excess of this nutrient to stores that cannot hold it. Some other human processes, such as industrial waste and fish harvesting, also affect the natural cycle. The phosphates and detergents and soaps that we use end up in our oceans, as many water treatment plants can't filter them out properly. There are treatment plants that can do a better job of filtering them than others, however the price of these is much more expensive than most of those currently in use. The phosphates that are not filtered properly end up contaminating large areas of water. The excess of phosphates causes for an increased growth rate of phosphate dependent organisms such as algae. These organisms use up a lot of oxygen and prevent sunlight from penetrating the water surface and reaching organisms at greater depths. This is called eutrophication. Phosphorus is important for the human body as it's a large part of energy distribution and is a necessary component of DNA. It's also needed for repairing tissues and cells in the body. As mentioned before, phosphates are added to fertilizers and manures, which then leach into the soil and alter the phosphate cycle. The vegetables we eat take up the phosphate from the fertilizer-enriched soil, and therefore we end up with an excess of phosphorus in our bodies by eating these vegetables. It is recommended to have 800 milligrams per day of phosphorus in your diet, but the average human diet provides 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams per day. An excess of phosphorus in your body can lead to health concerns such as kidney damage and osteoporosis. Phosphates are incorporated into many detergents and soaps as they are said to improve the productiveness of the detergent molecules by softening the water. For this reason, many people believe that using detergents containing phosphates is the only way to ensure clean dishes and fresh laundry. However, this is not the case. There are many alternatives. There are many easy ways to clean your dishes without using phosphates. Overloading your dishwasher can cause the water to not flow properly. Try to leave some space between your dishes and the bottom tray, but be mindful to not waste water. Try to find a balance. Against popular belief, too much dishwashing liquid can actually compromise the washing ability of your dishwasher. The excess detergent has a tendency to cling onto the dishes and allows food particles to cling on as well. Certain brands of detergents ensure phosphate-free products. Some of these brands include BioClean, Shaq Lee, Mrs. Myers, 7th Generation, and Ecover. When you're buying your detergents, be aware and check the label for phosphate content. I got troubles love, but not today. They're gonna wash away. They're gonna wash away.